All right, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> See right there in the middle of the screen, we are in second place, three and a half games behind the Rangers. I think I looked at our uh, record for last month, and it was like 15 and 14. So we had a good April, kind of a mediocre May, and now we're ready to head into June. Um, we have one last game in the Astros series, then three at L.A., three at Detroit, big homestand with Minnesota, Seattle, go on the road for nine against the White Sox, Braves, and Yankees, and come back for the Royals. Um, <clears throat> the draft will be right here on the 12th. So um, I do not expect us to have anybody in the home run derby, so we'll be skipping that. All-star game, we never play. Don't care about that. Um, so next episode, the main focus will be the draft. And signing our guys and seeing if there's any trades that we want to make. Right now, I am not leaning towards making any deals. Um, I think we're just kind of see how we go this year and see how close we are and then uh, adjust in the offseason. <clears throat> so, anyway, so this month we are going to play a game right here. This day game at the Angels. And we're going to play a game against the Yankees in Yankee Stadium. And the rest are going to be player locks. And we'll be dropping back down to double A for Nick Kurtz and uh, Fiore. Logan Fiore, Nick Kurtz. And is there anybody at triple A we are interested in? I don't believe so. It's a good pitcher's. We have Brody Brecht. He's 22. Nothing special. Yeah, we don't have a lot of pitching prospects that are Bs yet. They're all pretty much in the majors. So <clears throat> I'm going to tell you right now, when we get into the draft, um, there are some hitters. I'll show you right here. I'm going to scout this guy right here. Um, I went through and marked guys that we have already fully scouted, like this guy, Daryl Burden. Looks like he's... Going to be a, a B, B potential in the 60s at 18 as a catcher. Good contact, good vision discipline, good fielding. His arm is okay, his accuracy is eh, and his power is kind of eh. Um, we do need <clears throat> a catching prospect. Uh, so he is like number one on our list right now for guys um, that we would uh, look hard at. Um, there's another guy here, Jack Goss, who drops down to 54th, which so we could probably get him either a pick 39 or maybe 46. Um, he is much better defensively, and his hitting is okay, not great, but he is 21, so most likely a B potential. So he would be someone that we could settle for with our second or third pick in the draft if we take a, a hitter, I'm sorry, a pitcher. Um, we take a pitcher with our first pick. We also have this guy who is a leadoff type guy. He's got speed, got a lot of contact, decent defense. <clears throat> Looks like he's a B potential, going to be in the 60s. Center fielder. So that's, that's an option um, at eight. So we have those three hitters. I don't think I have any other hitters fully scouted at this point, but I have a long list of other hitters to look at. Um, starting pitcher-wise, um, this Keith Ornelas, we have him down as one, but his hits per nine is horrible. So that automatically disqualifies him from my consideration. Um, Jose Benitez is pretty good. His home runs per nine is the only thing that's down, but he, <clears throat> he'll likely be gone at eight. <clears throat> Alexis Rodriguez. Hey, Alex Rodriguez. Alexis Rodriguez looks like he's going to be a solid B in the 60s. Um, again, great pitch velocity and break, um, but the hits and, and strikeouts and pitch control, I really don't like that low hits per nine. Um, Kenny Raines has much better hits per nine at 18 years old. Good velocity, so... Um, he looks like a B potential as well. So Kenny Raines is actually at the top of our list among starting pitchers because of the hits per nine. 
Um, pitchers. <clears throat> Dante Hinkle, he's got much better hits per nine. Um, he's got five pitches, I like that. Um, this guy, where is he? Is it him? No. Chance Tata. Hey. Tatas. Chance Tatas. Four pitches, but two of them are fastballs. I'd be inclined to change that two seamer to a sinker. Um, let's see. Iwamura. Where's Iwamura? There he is. <clears throat> He's one of those guys that's probably going to be really close in his uh, overall and his potential. He's going to definitely be in the 60s to low 70s. Um, so he can be one of those guys that's like 69 overall and an 80 potential, right? So he doesn't have a, a lot of uh, growth to go, but he, he'll get there sooner. And he's only 18. So he would be an option for us to take with that second first round pick or um, our second round pick. I don't think he'd last till the third round. Um, let's see. Willow, Johnny Butner. Yeah, this guy needs to get scouted. Hits per nine is pretty good. That would be good. There's another one. His hits per nine is a little low. <clears throat> and Pedro Reyes. Did we already passed Pedro. Pedro, there he is. He just needs to be scouted. He's 22. He's older. So his, his overall his potential aren't going to be outstanding. So those are some guys. Um, and this guy, Troy, not Roy Hobbs, Troy Hobbs, <laughs> not rated, ranked fourth overall as a closer, looking pretty good. Um, he definitely would, uh, I think he would, he would be somebody that we could look at for that second first round pick or somebody in the second or third round um since he's not rated that would be good so we need to look at scouting him out fully so get a better idea on him <clears throat> uh, it's not a bad thing to get some young relievers in this system so so we could be looking at taking um, a starting pitcher with the eighth pick that closer with the 39th pick and then the catcher with the 46 pick. That's just and then the rest would all be pitchers probably. Unless we find some other hitters, which we will be looking at other hitters. So I want some I want some guys that maybe we can get later in the draft. This one, Johan Guardado. Great power. Look at that. He's going to crush righties. And he looks like he's going to have really good defense. He just won't steal a lot of bases, but his contact, vision, discipline are going to be a little, little lower. It could be anywhere in that range. <clears throat> so we want to scout him out. And uh, that would be a nice find if we could get him. Um, he would be a guy that I would uh, slide over to shortstop, to be honest. If his fielding is that high, definitely push him over to shortstop. So anyway, so we'll be looking at those guys uh, as we go through this episode. Um, so we're going to do some simming and player locking, and then we'll play this full game here with Joey Estes. And we'll play one of these games at Yankee Stadium, and everything else is going to be player locked or simmed. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah. What do we want to do first? Double A. <clears throat> Tell you what, let's let's jump into uh, guys in the minors here. Is this guy right here, lefty? He's right-handed. So let's go, Nick Kurtz again. He's the this guy is the A's first round pick this past summer. <clears throat> um, their real first round pick. So get some action with more action with him, and then we'll do another one with our the guy that we drafted in the first round, Logan Fiore. And uh, 
Um, then we'll get into a full game and then do some more player locks at the major league level and play another full game. So. All right, two on with one out. Wind is blowing out to left pretty briskly. No, that's out. And I did play some uh, MLB The Show. <clears throat> not um, not Diamond Dynasty. I played uh, an actual, some uh, franchise games in a different franchise. So I, I've got, uh, hey, where'd he go, Clark? I've got my eyes set for... Uh, Hall of Fame hitting instead of playing the CPU on Diamond Dynasty on Rookie. <laughs> That's a ball. Need Nick to uh, take off here. We really could use his bat in the lineup on the Major League level every day. Yeah. That was a bad decision. Two, one. <clears throat> This change up me insane. Two and two. Full count. All right, full count. Let's go. That's crushed, but right at him. And now we're losing four to three. Isn't that amazing? You don't drive in the run, and all of a sudden the CPU bounces back and goes nuts against you. That's how it always is in the sim. <clears throat> so, if you guys weren't here from the start, ah, that was terrible. We took Oakland... We simmed the first year and focused on the draft. Made some trades. Traded away a bunch of uh, age and contract. And then we drafted. And then in the offseason, we made some more trades. We signed some more guys that slid through the uh, draft. We signed Max Freed, Corbin Burns, and Willie Adamas. Just because our pitching was so bad and we have nothing in the pipeline, really. Yeah, I tried to hold up. <clears throat> so we're trying to get, at least be respectable. Um, we finished with the uh, fifth worst, there we go, fifth worst record, but the lottery shoved us down three spots. So we're picking eight. So... The guy we drafted was really a first baseman, but his defense is such that we could, we could, we could, uh, we could move him to second base. Doesn't have the arm for short or third. Don't really need him necessarily in the outfield. We have a ton of first basemen. And I am trying to decide if I want to make a trade with Tampa Bay or not. They would trade us uh, Shane Baz for either Tyler Soderstrom or Ryan Noda. Straight up. If we traded Noda, then I would call Soderstrom up to the majors. I went too early. Safe. Ah, I flinched. God damn it. Ah, uh, rolled over. That's not good. Maybe we can uh, have somebody pick us up with a hit here. And Nope. We did. Logan Davidson. All right, well, he had one hit, kind of fucked up the steal situation. I don't know why they were having Nick Kurtz try and steal. He's not a stolen base guy. All 
All right. On the major league level, we beat Houston six to five. No home runs. Christian Javier was okay. No, I'm sorry, wrong team. Pete Crow two hits. Rooker two hits. Nevin two hits. Rooker and Nevin with home runs. S. U. Ruiz, Pete Crow, Armstrong with steals. Oh, we, we did trade for Pete Crow Armstrong, by the way. Uh, Max Freed didn't pitch great. Underwood got the win in relief. So, all right, let's go back to Double A. New. I need to face a left-handed pitcher. He's right-handed. So, let's do this. And we lose 4-2. Um, something like that. And we win 4-3. Joe Adele, two home runs off his old team. Corbin Burns pitched great. Mason Miller got the save, although he gave up two runs. Um, double A. You're at Horn. Are you a lefty? Yes. All right. Fiori hits better against lefties than he does against righties. So that's why I wanted to get him against the lefty. <clears throat> He's hitting 312. We are going to leave Kurtz and Fiori down at double A all season. Pull them both up to triple A next year, which means. Soderstrom will be up in the major league level and Noda's probably gone. So that's why I need to decide if I want to make a trade right now, I can get Shane Bass. And that would fix our fifth starter spot. All right, one on and two outs. Nasty, nasty sunshine off the backdrop there. That's not fun. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Not great. Making good contact. Just need to get the ball up higher. All right, see if we can be patient and get a pitch to drive. Not that one. By him. There we go. There we go. RBI ties the game. Yeah. Not a stolen base guy. He just ran me into an out. There's no reason for me to steal. These fucking scenarios are terrible. And we just hit one. Is it off the wall or out of here? Gone. Three run homer. There we go. Eight to three lead. That was a bomb. All right, Logan, get two hits, three R, four RBI. Drove in a run with that single and hits a three-run bomb. Josh Spores, who on the mound for the uh, Red Riders. Town got that, but he's going to catch that all the way up against the wall. Yep. Not good. <clears throat> oh, well. Got the dub. He had a good game outside of that. Probably need to fix his hair. Might fix his facial hair, too. Two for five with four RBI. Nick Kurtz, one for five with two RBI. We are up to 44 ribs with Logan Fiore. And 
Brody Brecht pitched not badly at all. Maybe we can get to uh, use him. Think about pitching with him later. He's probably the closest to the majors among anybody in the uh, minor leagues. That's going to be a B at least. All right, let's go back to yeah, sim this game. We lose 5-3. to three. No home runs, two steals. Garcia, a couple of unearned runs. Let me save, and then we'll go play a full game here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ah, reached. Reached. Be, pa be patient. It's 2-0, and that would have been 3-0. All right, Pete, let's go, buddy. First pitch swinging. <laughs> what do I do with my phone? Hold on. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Left my phone upstairs. Of course, it's going to hang in the air forever. It can't just be a little broken bat blooper that falls harmlessly. Oh, I hate certain aspects of this game with a passion. Easy ground ball, take that.
All right. A little more work than uh, I wanted at the end of that inning. <clears throat> All right, Willie. You love righties more than lefties. I may throw the ball up in here. I can't see it because of the clouds and the bright sky. Need a better batter's eye here in Anaheim. <clears throat> Need to extend that wall over there. Make him work a little bit. Ah, didn't hit that well. That is good. The third base number 16, Kobe Mayo. Of course, right at them. Can't hit the ball over their head. Man, totally missed my location on that changeup. Lucky that stayed in the park, man. <laughs> that should have been hit a long way. Of course, the pitcher can't feel the ball when it's hit to us. CPU pitchers are like fucking... I almost went way back. Ken Dryden, Patrick Waugh. Name a goalie that's uh, not my age. Marty Broder. He's still too old. Man, they hit it perfectly right between almost every time. And we hit them right on the screws, right at them. So tired of this this game and their uh, unfairness towards the CPU in all of these situations. Come on, Petey. Thank you. 99 speed comes in handy. <clears throat> Good thing he was a lefty. Reached that arm out there. All right, Kyle. Get through. No. Nope. No, nope, never. CPU is a bunch of fucking gold glovers all over the place. <laughs> 
What's up, man, Keith? How you doing, man? Hey, I'll take I'll take a lurk. Thank you very much. There we go. Not gonna catch that. And we're gonna have to hold up because you're a slow ass first baseman. Thank you, thank you though. Appreciate it. Um, my last video was hilarious. So last time we streamed, I had to split it into two separate streams. Um, because I forgot I had a dog uh, vet appointment. So we did played one game and then I quit and then we came back later and finished up. And then I spliced those two episodes together and chopped off the uh, ending of the one and beginning of the other so it was kind of seamless. And then when I was rendering it to go upload to uh, YouTube, somehow it ended up being shrunk on the screen to like half the size it normally would be. I don't know why. I have no idea why it did that. Maybe it's the aspect rate. I don't know. I have no idea because I've never had, I've never had DaVinci do that before. Um, but anyway, somehow whatever that episode, it got into uh, the suggested algorithm, and uh, it quadrupled the views in like a few hours. I mean, I'll take him. I had that happen back when NCAA was re NCAA 14 was really big during COVID, and something in the uh, algorithm kicked in, and I got like 8,000 views on one of my Texas A&M. I mean, 8,000. You're like, oh, you know, it's not 800,000. It's 8,000. But yeah, when you're a small, when you're a small uh, account, and all you do is stream and upload the stream as an archive. And you get that many views on, a, on an archived stream. That's I'll take it. But I don't I don't play college football much anymore. Kind of bored with 14, and uh, I hate 25. There we go. Good foul. Curve, curve. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah, I want to know where that was. Take that foul out. There we go. Scoreless through three. It never sounds like good contact when he hits the ball. Like that was good timing and it sounded like he hit it with, with a whiffle of all that. These pitchers are fucking Usain Bolt off the mound to catch these balls. Unless it's right down the middle, I'm taking this. And I'm going to take it anyway. Look at this fucking... <laughs> Can't get the ball past the infield on the ground at all. I was much more patient when I wasn't on camera. It's 
why I set up here so I don't chase that over there. Stay here. We want middle in. Up or down's fine. Middle in, not outside. That cutter is on, on the mark today. There we go. Let me use that. Five. Okay. There we go, Willie. Let me get a ground ball. Hit that ball well, but it's going to be caught. Hit it too high. There we go. That's a gapper. He's going to get through, but he's too shallow to challenge. Okay. All right, Jared. We went deep with you last time. We went deep twice. He had two homers and a double or some shit like that one game. He's uh, He hit one deep. Wind's blowing in from center field, though, so we got to have to pull this ball down the line. Ball down so I can see it. Ah! There we go, Ryan. He's trying to stay on the team. RBI single gives us the lead. All right, Ahmed, just keep the singles going. We don't need a home run. Just find green. Yeah, it's so fucking shallow in this game.
they just have been late all day long or standing there and taking that cutter all day. It's not like he's throwing it very hard. It's like mid to high 80s. It's not even like he's throwing 95 mile an hour cutter. I'm going to throw it again. All right, he's through five. Let's go, Pete. We need some more base runners. We got busy on the base paths. Last inning. Yeah. Lazy fly ball. Can't use his speed if we can't get on base. Hit my mind to swing before he even threw the ball. Way out in front. Could have waited just a little bit longer. And it's going to be caught by Trout. All right. It's a foul ball. Got him. So that put me at eight, eight Ks, six innings. And it's going to give us six shutout innings. There we go.
Right on the screws and right at them. Two well hit balls right at Trout and hit somewhere else. Just a piece. I was way out in front of that one. Said the timing was good, but I was way out in front of that pitch. And we're just going to make Trout very busy this half inning. Three straight fly balls right at him. Seems it was a little too high. There we go. Ten Ks. That uh, cutter has just killed these guys all day. All right. He might start the eighth. I'm not sure if he'll finish the eighth. Number 46. There we go. I like this left-handed pitcher. I got more uh, stands over there. I got more area to block out the uh, sky and see the ball better. Second base. All right, Petey. My butt with you. There we go. Move him up. He doesn't like hitting against lefties anyway. Now we got Rooker up with, and they're gonna walk him. Okay, smart move. Who is this? Willie Adamas. He does not like lefties. We just need to get the ball out of the infield. At least his clutch is 87, so that helps against lefties. That should... Nope. It's going to be too short. It's not fast enough. Oh, Should have ran for him. All right, Butler. Can load the bases. Can't get him in.
That's going to get down off the wall. Almost a grand slam. We're going to send him around third coming in, and he's out. Head first dive. Come on, Rooker, head first. Head first slide, and you're safe. It's all right. It's 3 nothing. I'm going to throw a pitch. Hopefully he won't uh, hit it out of the park. And I'll take the pop-up. I wanted a replay so I can get him pitching. Oh, I like that picture. Let's see if we can straighten that out. It looks better that way. I'll take that. A little more straight on. All right, I guess we'll leave him in there. Hey. Yep, yeah. this guy homered off us in our park to start the year. All right, he's done. bring in the lefty and um, let's bring in Zach now pitching Zach Jackson Get there, get there, stay in play, reach over. How the fuck did he miss that? All right, three outs to go on the other side. All right, off the ninth. In comes our closer.
take that. Thank you very much. There we go. And that's a winner! That's a winner! <laughs> what a game by Joey. Three hits for Noda. Seven and a third, five hits, one allowed on a home run, no walks, 10 Ks. I think he's going to stay, and J.P. Sears is going back down after this injury. Joey's trying to fight his way into the rotation again. He pitched all last year. didn't pitch poorly, but we added two guys. All right. Brant Herter, Mitch Spence. We've got Tarek Skubal, Corbin Burns. Let's play lock in this game. He's a let's do Shea. Sugar Shea. Sugar Shea Chandeliers. Let's see if we can hit a bomb with this boy. He's got the power, right? Jerry, I'm telling you, I have this power. And I have no control over it. <laughs> what did I ask for? Adios, <laughs> oh, man. I do love these baby blue road uniforms, man. Damn. Two and two. Hey, Worst part of the park. Worst part of the park. Man, making great contact tonight. All right, three to one. There we go. Swing late, drive it through the hole. Reach base, two on, nobody out. Alex Fado, former Florida Gator on the mound. Come on, Tyler. That should pinch hit for him. He sucks against righties. All right, Larry. Yes, double play. All right, off to the ninth. 
Five to one lead. Bases loaded, one out. Can we have two home runs and six RBI? Maybe, just maybe. Mm. Chased. All right, I got the dub. Let's go. Two hits for Rosario, two for Langoliers. Dell the double. Spence pitched well. Bullpen did their job. Not sure why Alvarado got the save. All right, all right, all right. Standings. We are a game and a half behind the Rangers. Look at that. Half game behind Baltimore for the best wild card. Most runs scored in the National League. Dodgers 48 and 19. My God. Shohei's 9-0. Who's their closer? Greater all. Evan Phillips is in the minors. Wow. Splitting our catching between those three. Freddie's hitting 270. These guys are splitting time. These two are splitting time. Who the hell's playing shortstop? Must be Tommy Edmund. He must be playing shortstop. All right, stats for us. Brent hitting 332 with 17 and 37. Butler 289. Willie 235. Pete Crow 238. Our averages are, are not the best, but we'll take the power. Pitching wise, JP, the one that's on DL, is the only one that's higher than three and a half. And Joey's got 18 Ks and 15 innings. Outside of Zach Jackson, the bullpen's doing pretty good. Still need to get Alvarado into more games. All right. And we lose two to one, and now we're going to go to scouting. All right, so i got to get my notes out on the guys I was looking at. All right, this guy falls back. He's got a lot of power fielding. We'll, uh, we'll leave him there and see if he jumps back up because he is 18 years old. We'll see. Ooh, we did find a catching prospect. Not rated. Terrible. Of course. All right, so last week of scouting pitchers. Let's go central. You know what? I'm 
to change him. Let's go to... Check out Darren Gunn. Okay, catch a catch. Good, good, good. All right. And how about we go triple A? Where is he? He's not in the lineup. Hmm. Is he not in the lineup? All right, let's not. Who do we have a double A besides those two guys? Nobody really. All right. Not going to do it. We'll just uh, sim. Nick Kurtz. Oh, Torn calf. He's out one to two months. And we lost four to nothing. It's not a good day. All right, Sears. Do you have any? Yeah. Sears is going down to AAA. Estes is taking his spot. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's put Kennedy at AA. One, two, three, four, five. And move him to class A because he's hurt anyway. And... Double A. Fiore's hitting three oh nine. That's good. Up four. Power against lefties. Up three contacts against lefties. We need the righties to go up. Um Jacob Wilson. Might have to trade him away. Um, yeah, we don't have a lot of other prospects down here that are worth a crap. Yeah, I know Garrett Crochet is on the, on the trade block. Um, what kind of prospects are out there? <laughs> I just want to get a, a look before we go to the trade deadline next month. Manzardo. Ayesteros. Soderstrom or Noda? I mean, I'd love to get a 78 overall B potential starting pitcher that's 25 for a guy that's two points, I'm sorry, four years older and one point less overall. That would be great. 
Um, the reason why they would make that deal is because uh, they don't have much of anything here at first base. Okay. Two and a half games back. Some good uh, home runs we got. Rooker was 17. Yeah, Rooker could be in the home run derby for sure at this point. Only one. All right. Well, we may we may end up doing the home run derby next. Um, next stream. Home game against the Twins. Let's go and player lock on this. And. Let's do Rooker. All right, here we go. All right, we're not down before my first at bat. That's good. And a stolen base for Pete Crow. Love that, love that. Oh, popped it up. View of the park here. And we're down two nothing. Got all that. I think he's going to catch it though. Now it's four, three, two on, two out in the seventh. All right, let's go. Yeah. Really like this park. Man, when you guys are doing your ballparks, do them in stages. Don't do it all at one time. Work on it, put it away. Come back, work on it, put it away. And then when you're finally done, put it away. Go look at some other Major League stadiums and then go back and take a look at it. Fucking wasted an RBI chance. All right, now we're up 8-5 to five in the 8th. All right, so we went nuts. Kelnick like hit a home run, and I can't hit with Rooker. <sighs> Hold on a win. Yay. Despite me. Two hits for Armstrong. Two hits for Butler. Three hits for Noda. Butler and Kelnick with home runs. Garcia pitched okay. Sandlin did not. Muller did not. Miller got the save. All right. Got a minor league catcher that's still injured, and we are still two and a half games back. All right, we'll just sim. And we got absolutely demolished. 11 nothing. Castro, Lewis, and Lee with home runs. John Means threw a one hitter. Ruiz got the only hit. Estes got lit up. Zach Jackson. We got to get rid of Zach Jackson. What? Do we, uh, what what does anybody want for Zach Jackson? 
Levi Stout. Jose Fermin. Yvonne Grissom. Bowden Francis. Marinaccio. Trevor Larnock, really? Don't need him. That's, that's pretty amazing. Jordan Adams. He's 25, though. They would trade us their closer, Alexis Diaz, for Zach Jackson. Let's go look at the Reds. His walks per nine is terrible. Clutch is 84. Higher velocity. Lower break. More control. Definitely better pitching clutch. A little bit lower home runs per nine. Walks per nine's identical. The strikeouts per nine are low, but his hits per nines are up. Really? You would trade that. You would make that trade. Why? We could trade him a 22-year-old D60. I'm making the same. I'm doing this deal. Yeah. They don't want to do that deal. But they'll do this one. Yeah, fuck him. I'll do it. Hey, you're stupid enough to, to give me the offer back. Let's let Let's put you back to... Relief pitcher. All right, Spence against Festa. We lose five to three. We win four to three. Bryce Miller and Corbin Burns. Let's go, Butler. 
I'll play a lack with Butler. We're going to uh, play a full game against the Yankees. I might go back down to the minor leagues and do more player lock with uh, Fiori, our first round pick, since since Kurtz is hurt. All right, Corbin, you need to pitch better. He's blown out the left. Down and got it, just popped it up. All right, three nothing. Kelnick with a homer and Rooker with a homer. Look like that. Another fucking gold glove play by the computer. Unbelievable. And we win. Three to two. All right. All right, Fiori's down to 295, so he's off a little bit. Wind's blowing from right to left. Got all of that, but not enough. Deep, deep, deep part of the park. Wow. Yeah, pull that. All right, losing 3 nothing. I'll show you the guy that we didn't draft. We took Fiore instead of this pitcher in the Red Sox organization. He had he had 99 potential. Really good pitcher, but he doesn't have any velocity. He tops out at like 92. He's a soft tossing lefty. Off the end of the bat. That's out of here. He went down and golfed the shit out of that pitch. Adios, Pelenta. Number 12 on the season. Just drop the bad head and... Adios, motherfucker. Bam. Good thing with this guy is later in his career, we can always move him back to first. All right, 4 4 tie in the 10th. Can we walk it off? No. No, 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 just late. High fly ball. Give me another at bat. There we go. 13th inning. Come on, Isaiah. Two 
so far in front. And we're going to keep batting in the 16th inning. Okay. I'm going to run out of pitchers. What's up, Batten? How you doing, man? We just hit a home run with Fiore earlier in the game. We uh, flipped Zach Jackson to the Reds for Alexis Diaz. Straight up. Same salary and everything. Jackson... Pitched like shit, so we sent him packing. We, I was one for seven, but it was two run shot. Um, our first base prospect, Nick Kurtz, is out one to two months. So that hurts. Can't play a lot with him. And we win eight to two, three wins in a row. Gave up home runs to Rodriguez and Sanchez. Adamas with a home run. Pete Crow with a steal. Garcia pitched great. We are four games behind the Rangers. And we are a game, full game behind the Orioles for the number two wild card. Look at that. 320 runs scored. We are 25 and 13 at home and 15 and 20 on the road. We are the American League Rockies. So who are the worst teams? So 45, 48. Look at the Dodgers. 55 and 19. <laughs> They've won 10 in a row. At least 10 in a row. All right, scouting. This guy, nothing special. Shortstop, Baroa, Almond and Shields. Let's check out Almond. Can't find any catchers. All right. All right, pitchers. Let's finish this guy off. Shortstop, pitcher, looking at infield central. Need to save. Draft will be next episode. Um, it's always the Saturday before the All-Star break. So we are here on the 15th of June, which used to be the trade deadline back when I was a kid. When I was a kid, June 15th was the trade deadline, not the end of July. Um, so the draft is right here after that game on the 12th. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 more games. I don't expect us to, uh, I don't, I do not expect us to be busy at the trade deadline. Yeah, you liked it? I did make some changes, yes. I opened up the wall and put some people behind the wall and put some stuff behind the wall. New lights. If you download that stadium, go find where those double light, those lights are across, across the wall and all that stuff. Grab them and pull them up. It's like a gate and it's got a, like an oval sign and it's got the lights at the top. So I just sync all of it except for the, the, the lights. Yeah. They need to give us a lot more. Um, but yeah, I made made some changes, and uh, we play with the White Sox next year. Um, we'll definitely, we'll just 
I might play the first year in the current park just for shits and grins and then move to the other park. But that that stadium was made for uh, both the Cubs and the uh, White Sox. So, um, let's see. All right. Sim that game and lose 4-2. to two. All right, White Sox. We... We're going to play a full game here against the Yankees. What time is it? Hour and a half? Two and a half? Let's, uh, player lock. Hagen's a lefty. Let's, let's go with, uh, let's do Joe Adele. If I could ever get his contact up. I went in on all the uh, the hitters for training, and I put it on their vision, contact, and discipline, or straight contact, vision, dis vision, discipline, and clutch. Those three. I have those three, or I go straight to contact, and then pitchers. It's all their per nines, and I took it, all of them off auto, so it should stay there all year. It shouldn't fluctuate. I hate when they put pitchers on fielding. Fuck the pitchers fielding. They need to work in their per nights. Their job is to throw pitches, not field ground balls. Yeah, they don't care because it doesn't make any money off of it. So we could play in this stadium for one year and then move to a new park. And if we do that with the White Sox then we get to keep all their uniforms. Unlike, you know, when we move the team to Utah, we only have two. I want them to give us a, a third, an alternate uniform for the rebranded teams. Give us a third uniform slot and let us mix and match our tops and bottoms. Ah. I've been to this park. I saw two games here when, back when Cal Ripken was playing. My wife went to Old Comiskey. She saw the Twins and the White Sox back when Frank Viola was playing. That was that was when we were dating. She was in my fantasy baseball league. Imagine that. that's where I met her. And actually, she she is a cousin of one of my best friends in high school. But she was in our our baseball league. We started dating on that. But uh been to this park twice. I've never been to Wrigley. I think we went over on the one stream all the places I've been. I've been to Mile High and Coors Field. I've been to the ballpark at Arlington. Uh, Royal Stadium multiple times. Uh, obviously, Bush Stadium 2 and 3. Um, Comiskey Park been to Riverfront Stadium and uh, Great American Ballpark been to Tiger Stadium been to Sky Dome been to Atlanta Fulton County Stadium and the one that they did the Olympics in before they moved to this one, current one I think that's it. That's all the parks I've been to. And I've seen a football game at Arrowhead. I've seen a football game at Mile High. Safe. All right, got to run. I've been to two football games at Notre Dame. So I'll play USC and Pitt. Pitt, they had uh, they were playing Larry Fitzgerald. I got to sit with the family members of Notre Dame because I knew one of the managers from Notre Dame. They yeah, need more uniform slots and uh, need way more options for creating um, stadiums. Be nice if they would redo all the stands so they actually fit the curve of the, the stadiums too. 
get rid of the uh, bullpens out on the field too. Move the stands closer. You know, give us give us some presets with different different options for the seating for each one. Damn it! Couldn't hold up. Yeah, some of the finagling we have to do to make stadiums is just ridiculous. And they have this. They 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 have the the these red border things that you can't put stuff up close to the batter's eye close enough. It leaves gaps. It should be able to be like right up against it. I understand not wanting to putting lights in center field behind the the backdrop, but. Give us less collision and, and more flexibility. More options on the seating and stuff. All right, we held on and got the win, even though I didn't do shit. I got one hit. Spence, six and six. There we go. We should beat these guys. Jacob Wilson's out. Nick Kurtz is still injured. All right. Sim, get a 1 0 win. Two hit shutout for Max Freed. There we go. And we sweep with a 7 4 win. Home runs by Rosario, Adamas, and Butler. Burns gives up four, doesn't get the win. Sandlin gets the win. Miller with the save. And we are still four games back. It's like Texas is heating up. Yeah, you can turn off injuries, but it's a pain in the ass. If you're just going to sim, then I would turn injuries off. You want to see the injuries? Look at this. So he's still, he's out one to two months. He's out one to two months. He's out two to three more weeks. Wait till you see somebody. Look at this. This is the Braves. All these guys are hurt. There was another one that was even worse. Alec Bohm out for the year. Spencer Turnbull out for the year. I hate pitching against Bohm. Tarnock, one to two months. Look at these guys. All these guys for uh, Washington. Tyler Stevenson out, one to two months. Jake Fraley, one to two months. Weimer, five to six months. The Reds are decimated. Hey, Kenny Pipers with the Cardinals, out for one to two months. Newt Barr, out one to two months. Look at that. He would love to play for the Cardinals. He's from St. Louis. He's a huge Cardinals fan, a huge Pujols fan. Tolia out. Doyle out. Hassan Kim out. Trevor Story. Brian Bellows out for the year. Karoloff, two to three months. I don't know who Sigler is. He's out for the year. Jackson Job. Um, I don't know. I I could do um, NCA fourteen. I just don't feel like doing it right now. Not. I'm I'm burned out. Oh man, Walker Jenkins is out for the year. Um, I've I've been tempted to uh, download College Football twenty five and play, but. It's just frustrating. I can't throw the ball down the field or it gets picked. I got to throw a bunch of drags and curls and slants, and it's not a fun game to play. And then you get the bullshit in the sim because I hate playing defense. And so when you sim, then they'll come back and score. It's, it's just not a fun game to play. I kept telling everybody in the months leading up to it, it's all about the gameplay. Fuck the presentation. Gameplay is the only thing that matters. The only thing that matters is gameplay. So if gameplay is great, it doesn't matter if presentation is good or not. If the gameplay plays great, right? But if the gameplay sucks, none of the other stuff means a damn thing. I, I you know, some people will play it because it's the only thing. Then, and I get it, I, you know. But I just, I'm much happier not playing that fucking game. So. I wish I wish I could play something else. I've got over fifteen hundred hours playing XCOM two. <laughs> yeah. This this game has a high learning curve, but it is a fucking phenomenal game. Once you learn how to play the game, 
Um, if you ever want to play that game, you can uh, get it on Steam or you can get it on PlayStation. They have sales all the time. If you ever get that game, then contact me and I'll tell you which two guys to go watch on YouTube. And you watch them play through it and then go play the game. And you'll be night and day better. All right. Dude's name is Cash Mayfield. Baez and Mayfield. Yeah, I saw that. They're going to keep hiring. 11-4, to 4, beat the Braves. Pete Crow and Willie Adamas with home runs. Pete Crow, 5 RBI on the day. My goodness. And that's on the road. That's not at home. Everybody but Noda had a hit, but he had four walks. All right, Spencer Strider. We beat him 6 nothing. We shut out Strider. Kalnick with a home run off his old team. Joey Estes again. Wow. All right, scouting. So he's going to be a C at short in the 60s. Everything but his hits, strikeouts, and pitch control. Dude is... Mm. Who did we find? Nothing. All right. Let me look at my pictures. Jose Benitez got him done. Kenny Reigns. Hinkle. Tata. Iwamura. Bootner and Reyes. Bootner. Pedro Reyes, where is he? There you go. There he is. He's done. All right. So let's go look at Troy Hobbs. Not Roy Hobbs, Troy Hobbs. Let's move that to closer. And we're going to change you. Let's look at some outfielders. Left field. Thornton and Corbin. Let's do Thornton because he'll be done in one week. All right, we've won five in a row. We've run eight of nine. And we win again. We swept the Braves on the road. Sixteen innings to do it. And we're still four games back. But now we're the number one wild card by a full game over the Orioles. We're tied in the loss. They got to win two games to catch us. Yeah, Dodgers are 62 and 20. <laughs> 62 and 20. If they go 500 the rest of the way, they win 102 games. They could win 112 easily. All right, Rooker, one hit away from 
100. He's got 19 and 42. Rosario, 254. Butler, 286. Adamas, 237. 229. 255. Yeah, we just don't have enough contact on this team. Estes' his innings are down because Sears was up and he got hurt. Estes came up and he's been pitching great, so we're leaving him up. We got that whole staff below four, and our home games are basically at a Coors Field type stadium. We only have one pitcher in the area over three, or over or four or higher. And our closer has 36 strikeouts and 24 innings. All right. Leading the awards. Guerrero leading for MVP. Guerrero and Otani. Flaherty and Otani for Cy Young. Pasquantino and Abrams for batting average. Ginkle already has 25 saves. Ginkle and Greater All. Jaime Salas leads in the Rookie of the Year for the American League. Jackson Holiday in the National League. All right, I want to show you guys this picture that we didn't take. We took the uh, Fiori dude instead. Liam Gunn. This guy right here, he's got good good stuff across the board, but his velocity, is his best pitch is a two-seam fastball, and it's 90. But you can see what he's done down in the minors. He sims really well. Gives up some few home runs. But more strikeouts than hits allowed. Got like that. And he's a 99 uh, potential dude. And uh, our guy. Just got to get those against righties up. All right, I'm going to pitch this game with Max against Nestor. But before we do that, oh, I got the day off. All right, so we'll go ahead and play this game. I was going to uh, play our lock, but they're off on Mondays, so we'll play this full game. They have no choices on uniform. Clear skies. Pete Crow, Adele. All right, here we go. I don't know why I'm yawning so much on camera. I mean, I, I just ate dinner at like 4 o'clock, 4.30. I did not like stay up all night. I don't know what it is. Monday Night Football, I have A-Chan and Waddle and the Rams defense special teams. So I'm hoping for Waddle and A-Chan to go nuts with yards. Maybe one touchdown each. And then the defense for the Rams to get some sacks, interceptions, maybe a pick six. Don't care who wins. Oh, swinging at the first pitch again. I'm having one of those years where I'm the uh, I've scored the most points, second most points. I think I've scored the second most points, and I've given up the most. So my record's like right at 500. One of the guys in first place has given up 300 points less than me and scored 250 points less than me. It's fucking maddening. Every time somebody plays him, they don't score anything. And every time they play me, they score their best week of the year. Oh. Fucking ridiculous. Fancy sports is worse than gambling because you feel like you have control. Gambling, you know you have no control. Self. 
You don't have to play. Of course not. Sal Freilich is with the Yankees. I'll take two pitches, two outs. <coughs> take that. No problem. It's going to be a three-pitch inning, boys and girls. Jam myself swinging at that garbage. Right in the screws, and Judge is going to track it down. Not swing. Put the controller down and just take this pitch. Through. Fucking gold glove. I'm so tired of the defense in this game. I've thrown four pitches and they've swung at all four of them. Five out of five. Six out of six. <laughs> Yay, their first take. Now, oh, Petey, get there, get there, get there. There we go. Try to get him a chase. Like that. Got him. Thank you. That was ball four.
Get him. All right, I'll take that. Come on, Joe. Ah, oh, so far in front of that. Stay back. Stay back. that. Didn't get it all. Alright. Yeah, it's double play. Nope, maybe not. Took too long. Now we're going to steal so we can get in scoring position. Zesty has really good clutch. Safe. <laughs> Once that put him at 15 on the air. Okay. Gets an extra step. Ruiz's clutch kicks in. And we swing a pitch over our head. Not a good combination. That siren can go away. Here we go. Fair ball. He's not going to be able, if that gets in the corner, it's a double. But that's an RBI hit, and we'll just steal our way into second base. There we go. There you go, SD. Pitch out. Doesn't matter. Until I grew up, I was a teenager and in my 20s and the 80s. And all they did was steal bases like crazy. Ah, tardy. Tardy. Come on. Give it to me, baby. That siren is completely unnecessary. All right, got one. A lot of fly balls today. Uncle Ben's rice up to the plate. Adam. Totally missed my spot there. That wasn't good. All right, it's nine up and nine down. Just got by him. Thank God.
Mm. Try to stay back and drive it. He's not going anywhere. You gotta fix Rooker's shoes and then you can make him dark blue. Enough of that. Is that going to be out of here? Oh, up against the wall. Swinging early. Tardy. Early on one, tardy on the other. Come on. Tried it. Oh, fuck, it flinched my thumb. that well all right Got him. High heat. From his knees. Oh, couldn't get him. Way out in front of that. Big strike out of Judge. All right. Come on, Joe. Get to the corner. All right. Through four. Only allowed uh, the hit by pitch so far. Take that four pitch walk. Five pitches in a row. Come on. Ball up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Anxious. Tired of looking at balls. I want to see a strike. Middle low. No, Tuck the middle not. of the plate down. Just missed. Way out in front. 
should have been a home run. I'm just battling now. Just battling. Hang one. Oh, painted. Thought that was low. Got under it. Does have a little pop against lefties. Nope. Oh. Yeah, it's not enough. Judge didn't even move. He still hasn't moved. <laughs> He swung at a pitch. Clearly bounced in front of the plate. Jeez. You wanted that so much? How about another one? Hmm. All right, through five. Let's get some runs, man. Let's get them some runs. A lot of fly balls in this game. Jesus. That's fair. Oh, come on. Just fighting to stay alive right now. No, that 
Full count. Get out of the fucking park. Go! Off the wall. There you go. One out double. That was a laser. Come on, Shay. Sugar Shay, can you hit one out, please? Uh, shoot that to the right. That'd be my pitch. Didn't want that. Just got a piece of that. Just a touch. Come on. Nope. There we go. Got the walk. All right, Tyler. If you like hitting against lefties, here's your chance, buddy. Yeah, it's going to be in the corner. Stay fair. Yes, that's one run. And even though we got a fast catcher, he's going to hold up. There we go. Two to nothing. John Curtis used to pitch for the Rockies. Wonderful ERA. Now he's facing Lawrence Butler. Larry Butt. Let's go, Larry Butt. And we're going to send him. I'm going to make him make a throw, and that's a terrible throw. All right, 3 nothing. Mayo hits righties better than Senzel does. He's just a platoon against lefties. Didn't get all of it. Hit it too high. Now playing third. Number sixteen. Kobe. Mayo. That missed. That's the ball. One oh. Ball outside. 
one. Ball two strikes. Ball. Two balls, two strikes. Oof. Got him. Fuck you. Sit down. There we go. Thank you. Hit him in the foot with a slider last time up. One ball, one strike. God damn it, lost a no hitter because he broke Peeler's fucking position! God damn, fucking move! Look how slow he is, it hits him. He just stands there like, oh, what? Fucking bullshit game. Computer never does that shit, man. They're off the mound like a fucking cat jumping on a mouse. We're standing there like we're drunk at 2 a.m. Oh, I guess I should go bit, get that ball. No. Fuck off. This is fucking bullshit. Lose a fucking no-hitter because the pitcher can't feel this position. Stands there like a goddamn drunk. God, I fucking hate this game and then we can't make a throw to the plate he's in shallow right and he throws it to the fucking on deck circle One 
low. That's a ball. No, that's up. Good one. Balls, one strike. That's a ball. One and two.
number 71. That's a ball. Now that let us here is one.
One ball, two strikes. Two-two. Now pitching for the New York Yankees, number 53, Bill Burr. One and one.
That miss, that's the ball. Two balls, no strike. Throwing a no-hitter, can't field ground ball, and then we can't get anybody out. Burns and Rodon, we lose six to two. All right, let's go down and play lock with our number one pick again. <sighs> this game fucking pisses me off to no end at times. Hey, Waddle, two catches, 55 yards. Unbelievable. Guy I'm playing in fantasy has Puka Nakua, and I have Waddle, Achan, and the Rams defense. This guy can hit the shit out of the ball. It's too slow to get a double off that. I should be player locking against right-handed pitching so I can improve his uh, his contact and power against righties. Been doing this all wrong. Oh, uh, stole a run because it hopped over the wall. The fuck out of here. Boom.
Bono. Mm, 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 mm. Just way out in front. Hit that ball. Good, good, good. I said before, we're going to keep this dude down in double A all year long. His, his, uh, his potential's in the 80s, so it's not like he's going to get up to a 99 unless his potential changes. That's good. That'll help his uh, vision and discipline. Come on, Clark. The shitter's full. Hey, we tied it. Did not hit the ball well. And we lose. And two for four. We have 13 home runs and 49 RBI. Beat the Yankees 4-3. Rosario and Adamas with home runs. Garcia pitches great. We are 48-35. and 35, Three and a half games back. So we haven't gained or lost any ground. Still the number one wild card. Look at the Dodgers. 63-22. and 22. <laughs> 63 they are 12 games better than anybody in baseball. They should not be allowed to get Roki Suzaki if he comes over. They should not be allowed. I don't care if Suzaki goes to Yankees, the Mets, anybody but the Dodgers. We lose 4-2. to two. We lose 5-4. to four, And third baseman's injured in the minors. All right, so this guy is going to be in the 50s, and he's going to be a B. And this closer has a chance to be an A in the 70s. All right, give us good infielders. Good discovery, no. All right. We will scout Velasquez. We want to stay international there. We need to look at pitchers here. Jeez, look at that dude. He's overrated, though. Ed Madden. Fastball slider. Two seam changeup. Ty 
Tata. Save the Tatas, right? Well, if I'm not mistaken, we can go scout another position player because both scouts can scout pitchers and hitters. Let's go back and look at our position players. Let's go right field. Look at Roche. All right, player lock in our last game of the day. Go with Kelnick. I may have to uh, swap in Langoliers and let him play every day instead of McCann because McCann's just not doing it as, as well against righties as I was hoping, so... Nice pretty day game at home. Wow, you ran a long way to get that. Oops, way up. Get one more at bat. There we go. Not against the lefty, so let's see if we can park this and win this game. And this on a walk off. Let's see if we can do this. Hardy. It's 103, though.
Throws me a slider on the strikeout. Didn't need to. Hey, Rosario with a three-run homer to win the game. All right. Beat the Yankees with a hit up the middle and hits a three-run homer to win this game. Streed, Streed, Freed, Strain is hammy. And we are on to July. So we've got five more games, and then we can do our last look at scouting. And then we get through this week, and the 12th will be the draft. So um, we got a list of names I'll need to go through can't look at them so i'll need to go through those list of names once we get to the uh, end of this current week i'm not going to do it right now we'll do the next stream and then we'll go in and get the draft done home run derby's probably <clears throat> going to be rooker and then we'll have to sign our picks so um thinking we'll probably do some player locks before the draft because I will want to get to the draft as quick as possible. Do the home run derby. After the home run derby and all that, we will play Texas at our place. Play a full game. And then we'll see. Maybe we'll play Houston. Maybe we'll play Minnesota or Baltimore. Probably not Minnesota. So we'll see. What do we look like? The Mets, Cleveland Marlins. They only have two division games in the month of August. Three. And then we're at the Angels again. Home against the Mariners. At the Mariners. At the Rangers. Home against the Angels. So we got a lot of division games down the stretch. So that can make a huge difference in whether we can steal the division or Hang on and, and get a wild card. So, all right. Standings wise, we are six games out. My goodness. We are the best wild card by a game, but we're six games out of our division because Texas is just going apeshit. They got the best record in the American League right now. We are. Tied with the Yankees. Uh, game behind the Yankees. Dodgers are 64 and 24. There are 40 games over 500 at the end of May. I'm sorry, at the end of June. Halfway through the season, there are 40 games over 500. <laughs> 88. God, they're going to win 115 games. Pasquantino leads in average. Rooker's number two in hits. Rooker's tied for six in doubles. Rosario's eighth in triples. Rooker's fifth in home runs. So he, he might... One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. He might he might eke his way in. Cassis might not. So he's gotta hit some he's gotta hit some home runs before the all-star break if he wants to be in a home run derby. He could carry Carpenter. My goodness. Oswaldo Cabrera. Hey, this, we're not getting enough guys on in front. Runs, stolen bases. We got Ruiz, one back. Pete Crow, five back. Not enough walks. On base. 
Rooker slugging, Rooker OPS, Rooker Seth Lugo's 12 wins. Brain Wu under a two ERA. All right, Vladdy and Otani lead in MVP. Lugo and Otani in Cy Young. Quintino and Abrams, Ginkle and Hoffman, Holiday and Salas. All right. He's an A fifty four. He's just up there because he's young and he's an A. He's not because he's any good. All right. 286 with a 384 on base, like that. 521 slugging, 14 doubles, 14 home runs, 36 walks, even has five steals, 51 ribs. Look at that. Up seven contact and power against lefties. Well, we know he's going to crush lefties. We need him to crush righties. We need him to crush righties. So when we do player locks with him, we need to we need him to uh we need to go against right hand pitching. Kurtz is still hurt. Ninety-five Ks in eighty-two innings. My goodness. Forty-seven walks are a bit high. All right. Save this and we'll call it a night. And uh what is today? Monday night, right? I don't know. I could be back tomorrow. I could be back Wednesday. I've got... I have to get a crown put in one of my back teeth on Thursday morning. So probably not going to feel like streaming. And Friday I have a playoff college match. And Saturday day and night I have two college matches out of town. So, so we won't be streaming those two days. So um, although we... We could possibly Friday night later. We'll see. Stay tuned on the uh, Discord. Watch for notifications if I, I decide to uh, stream again tomorrow just so we can get through the draft. Focus on playing out the rest of the season. So, All right. We are done. Thank you, boys and girls. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Who is out here? Do you guys have anybody you want me to go raid? Because the only one I have on my list that is streaming right now is Yofi, and he's playing NBA 2K25. Not sure if you want to go watch NBA or not. But uh, no one says anything. Well, right out to Yofi, but um, man, I thought I was going to get that no hitter with Freed, and the game decided to fuck me, man. It proves the the perfect game with with uh Aaron Nola in the playoffs in the Rockies franchise was something special and FG your perfect game in the World Series with your A's guy shit doesn't happen every day so all right we'll go radio feet I'll catch you guys later you have a good rest of the night and uh go Avengers Thank mm -hmm. you.